uh, I promised that we would also look at, we had a question about water chestnuts uh, on last weekend's program, and I said, well, we'd talk to Daly's uh, Nursery about that. And we have uh, Kath Commode, I love it, that name, on the phone now. Morning, Kath. Good morning, Don. Now, now, I'm good. Now, before we get to the water chestnuts, I believe on Australia Day, you got an Australia Day award for your fabulous koala project, which you've mentioned to me in the past. I did. Thank you, Don. I well, believe you were a recipient too. Yes, I got the or was it the Tibetan throat music one? <laughs> oh, oh. Yes, thank you for that. But, but tell us a little bit. I mean, obviously, no one at home is going to know what you've done. You, you've actually, I've, and you've sent me through so kindly all these pictures of sparrows, scouts, serendipity, Delia, Mister Invisible, yes, Holly. I've, I've basically been um, just mapping and identifying the koalas that are in our local area and Friends of the Koala organisation in Lismore who rehabilitate koalas have been helping me learn how to identify koalas without um, any radio tracking or markings or anything. So it's, it's been actually looking at them. A bit like Jane Goodall with the chimpanzees. Yeah, yeah. So I've learnt heaps and um, just really looking at what sort of state of health they're in and, and um, I'd, I'd be hoping from what I've discovered that our government will be putting m- money into researching their diseases because they are suffering. So obviously chlamydia is one of the worst. Is yes. that the one that's worst for you? Yes, that's right. Yeah, about a third of my koalas are sick. And wet bottoms? Yeah, wet bottoms and conjunctivitis, so sore eyes. Um, they're the main things to look for if you do see a koala in the wild that's not looking healthy. Abe says, could you send some of that treatment <laughs> medicine to him? <laughs> yeah, um, but it's been really, really interesting and, and um, they, they do need help from, from our federal government to to protect them. To make yeah, them it's better. important that we do look at all that. That uh, Chlamydia, I could do you a one-hour talk on chlamydia. I mean, it affects so many organisms, yes. uh, including the female human. That's right. Uh, and it's a terrible thing, and, and it's one of those things that doesn't respond all that well. No, there are treatments, but you've got to get them in in time, and, and what's happening is the female koalas are getting uh, internal cysts, which, because you can't see them, they don't have quite the same public reaction as as they have had with the Tasmanian devil, which is, of, of course, in your face. So it, it um, causes a response to make us want to help them. So because we can't see what's happening inside these koalas, um, there's a little bit of inaction there, I feel, from the government. Oh, yeah. But trust me when I say I'm very familiar with chlamydia. It is a particularly persistent pest, and it isn't easily knocked out, I can assure you. You might treat the odd individual animal, but uh, yeah, it's nasty. Anyway, to get back to... What is-